Uh, welcome to Power Driven Diesel. In this episode, we'll be testing the Warner SXE uh, 362. In this turbo we have here, we have the T4.83 turbine housing. We'll see how it compares to the same turbo in the 0 .70 housing and the 0 .91. Uh, we're going to be running the same two tests we've been running, which is a unloaded 1300 RPM run to, to 3200 RPM run. That's just going to have a weight of the dyno drum, about 3500 pounds. Then we're going to test it for a spool up based on time, see how fast it responds. And we're going to do a, a loaded run at 5500 pounds, and we're going to do um, 1800, 1800 RPM to 2800 RPM. Those will be the two tests, and we will overlay graphs. We can see what, how this compares to the same turbo with other housings. So with that, I'm going to get going in this truck, get started up, and start the test. Okay, let me hop out of this truck, walk over there, see what Lonan's got pulled up on the graphs. We can start analyzing these graphs. All right, so peak power happened at 550 horsepower, 24, 2500 RPM, thereabouts. So that's pretty good power for this guy. Is that, that's, a, that's a good power number out of this turbo. Um, peak torque was what? I didn't say that. What was peak torque? 20, 12, 25 or so? That's pretty good. Let's overlay this with the... Uh, same turbocharger with the 0 .70 housing on. 0 .70 definitely came on quicker, um, made more torque, uh, but more horsepower. Yeah, it made more peak horsepower, didn't it? It did. The 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 .83 carried it further, but by the time the .83 was in its uh, getting happy, it may have been out of the efficiency range of that particular engine with the stock head on that thing. You maybe cannot benefit as well as you could with something that can have a little bit better, higher RPM capabilities than this particular engine has. So on a stock 12 valve, I like the .70 uh, so far. We'll see how it does now in the time test. Um, we'll see with a bit of a load if we can compare that way as well. And let's, let's get started with that now. Okay, let's see how this thing's spooled up. Let's get a time graph and see how long it takes to go from roll on to peak torque.
All right, so looking at about 4.29, 4.3 seconds. What was our peak power on this one? Five, three, six. We lost a little bit from the heat. Always lose some from the getting hot. All right, let's overlay the 0 0.70. Let's look at our time. How, much, how long does it take comparatively? Well, as we've seen over and over, the 0 0.70 just destroys it. Um, made more torque too, which isn't too surprising because it spools up so much quicker. And let's throw the 0.91 in there. So, oh, hold on. Okay, good. So the 0.83 and the 0.91 definitely move it far to the right compared to the 0 0.70. Uh, on a loaded run, the power difference is pretty minimal. You can see they're not a big spread there on the horsepower. Uh, a little bit, though. The torque, you can see on the torque a little bit. All right, let's do our uh, average horsepower across from 1,800 to 2,800 RPM on these guys. The uh, first run is the 0.83 at 405 average. The Next run is the with a 0.70, 463 average, and the next one is the 0.91. So average horsepower, the 0.70 is about 60 horsepower over its closest competitor uh, in 1,800 to uh, 2,800 RPM. Um, so anyway, that's the test of these two turbos. If you have any questions about the 362 or other turbos, feel free to go to PowerDrivenDiesel.com or call us here at the shop, 435-962-9555. Thanks.